Wow, that camera sucks. But anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to update our firmware. Uh, this is official firmware for your PSP. This is going to be official firmware 6.10. Um, this adds a few fixes and only one thing to your XMB screen on your PlayStation Portable, whether it be 1000, 2000, 3000, or the N1000 series, which is the PSP Go. Um, but other than that, um, let's get to installing this firmware. Alright, so here's my PSP 1000 model, as you can tell, just to simply prove it. There's the UMD tray, very metallic and very bulky. And yeah, you can tell it's a 1000 because it's not shiny. So, other than that, um, no need to check the firmware because you can be on any official firmware to update to any official firmware so we don't have to worry about breaking this PSP because official firmware technically sucks but I'm just gonna put a review on it so basically all we're gonna do now is plug a USB cable into the PlayStation Portable and wait for the USB mode to enable and come to the computer alright at the computer we are going to download after downloading, you're going to download the 6.10 official firmware updater RAR that I provide. Double click on that and open that up. If you don't have an extraction program, please right click on the file and say extract all to desktop. No need to be fancy, folks. So you're going to open that up and you're going to see an update folder inside the extracted files. And if you open that update folder, you will see an eBoot. PVP, and that is what we are looking for because that is the updating software. So go back to you just see the update folder. Uh, come over here and double click on the My Computer icon or open up My Computer if your autoplay does not come up on Windows. Um, and then simply open up the removable drive for the PSP. As you can see, the removable drive here is F colon slash, otherwise known as MS0 colon slash. But anyways, open up the PSP folder. So we're going to open that up. Open up the game folder. Not that hard, right? Now there is, if there is an update folder in there, delete the whole thing. You don't need to worry about that anymore. So delete whatever update folders you have in there. If there isn't anything in there, that's great. Now take the update folder from your extraction program. Again, the 6.10 official firmware updater RAR. And drag and drop the update folder from there into the PSP game folder on the memory stick. And now wait for that to copy over. This is the most amazing part of the process. I know. <clears throat> Anyways. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. Alright. Now, confirming that the update folder has copied over into the PSP game folder, as you can see. We're going to exit that now and get this extraction program out of the way and I'll minimize this because I'm going to use that later and come back to the PlayStation Portable. Back at the PSP now, we are going to exit USB mode and unplug the USB cable because we don't need it anymore. Scroll over to the game and down to the memory stick and open that up and you will see the update version 6.10. Click on that and start it up. <laughs> this is another reason why I hate official firmware. It takes forever to load. Alright, anyways, here we go. PSP System Software Version Update 6.10. Start. System Software License Agreement for the PSP. Accept. The main feature is revised in version 6.10. The importing of playlists for, um... The Media Go application is now supported under music. Hit X to start. And, yes, wait for this process to finish. Okay, it's done. Hit X to restart. <clears throat> and your system's gonna reboot.
And voila, we are now running on firmware, official firmware, 6.10. You can see PlayStation Network is still there. This is all the same. This is all the same. You can delete the installer now from your memory stick because you no longer need it. Uh, video, multiple folders are supported. Sends me channels. That is added underneath the music icon, as you can see right there for the 6.10. Um, photo, camera still there. Multiple pictures, folders, and things like that. System update is there. And you can see that the system settings icon has changed to a PSP Go outline instead of a PlayStation Portable manual um, or basic icon. And everything else is pretty much the same. So the only thing that's really changed is the Senses Me channels, in case you're wondering. But that's about it. So that's official firmware 6.10. So yeah, guys, that's 6.10 for you. I will have the link for download. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, um, for future references, um, the only thing that really is changed is the sends me channels underneath music. So, um, yeah, other than that, that's about it. So take it easy, guys. If you got any questions, send me a comment. Leave me a message. I'll be happy to reply. If you got any recommendations for any other videos, leave me a comment on my channel. And uh, other than that, I'll most likely make that video for you. Um, so yeah, so take it easy, guys. Enjoy the firmware. I hope you enjoy this review. And um, yeah, keep the views coming. And subscribe to my channel and keep up to date. Blah, 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 this and that. Yada, 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 like I say in every other video. Yeah, take it easy.